better? <laughs> Justin, obviously, where you lost is really hard. It's kind of talked about all year, but another loss. Does the message change to him at all of how to pick a spirit back up? Uh, I mean, no, we kind of talk about it. I mean, there were there were plenty of good things. He made some plays, made some uh, throws. We just got to uh, continue to focus on the things that we got to we gotta do right at that position and everything. We got away with one of the OTM. We threw that last touchdown, and I said, well, that's kind of a, a gift. I mean, the next nine times you try that, it's probably going to – you're going to be having to make the tackle on the other end. So, I mean, he, he understands that and, and, and that. He had a couple, uh, couple shots that got picked off. And, Guess what we learned from that and understanding when you can take that. You try to give one-on-one -on -one shots to a couple guys um, in that way. And, and, but it's all it's all a learning process and all those types of things. Uh, uh, we got to do a better job of protection with him to help him feel comfortable back there. We we got him under duress a little bit more than what we wanted to with some of their blitzes. They did a nice they did a nice job scheming up a couple of our. They kind of got the right blitz on for a protection and without having to bring a lot, they were able to put pressure on it. So that happened a couple times, which you never want that to happen, but it's, that's kind of a little bit of rolling the dice when you're changing your protections. Some of the guys after the game were saying that one of the reasons, that basically they, they feel like they're not able to get out to a hot start, and then kind of, as you saw, Stanford took control of the game. What do you think it's going to take, or how do you guys try to prepare for you know, scoring on the first drive like you guys did a few weeks ago? Well, we, I mean, we, we've talked about it, we, everything, but it, it comes down to the consistency of making each guy's got to get their job done, their responsibility. I mean, the first drive, we get put ourselves in a, a third down situation, we don't convert it. And then we punt the ball away, and the defense does a great job and gives us the ball right back. And then we actually put a little drive together and get down there, and we get ourselves in a third and one, and we get a penalty. I mean, it's some of the same things that we've done throughout the year, we did again. And, and we'll continue to harp on it, stress it in practice, talk about it, what happens in practice. There's, it, it strikes a nerve with everybody in that, but it, it's a little bit of the, oh, oh, here we go again type mentality of, when something bad happens, that's what we kind of we fall toward, which that's part of changing that. So it's more of like, okay, we're going to attack the situation. Third and yeah, third and one. I'd rather be in third and one, third and six. But third and six isn't an unbearable situation. We just have to go out and execute, get the job done, get the next first down, and keep moving the football. You touched on it a little bit earlier, but it seemed like the story of the USC game was that the blitzes kind of got to Justin, and he wasn't able to handle them as well. How did you see him handle what Stanford brought? Uh, well, they got uh, they did a few things differently. I mean, USC kind of they beat us in some of our protections, just uh, beat a guy uh, in that way. Uh, Stanford, I mean, that happens every game, and there's going to be times when that happens. Stanford did a pretty good job. A couple times we were free release in the back. They kind of they blitzed to the correct side to kind of put us in a position where we had to feel hot off a, uh, a fifth guy, which that's never what your goal is on that. And it's a little bit of by changing your protections. We have multiple protections that they happen to call the right one on the, the right situation, whereas if we had been calling one of our other protections, we'd have picked it up and then got to move on. So that's something we're just continue to analyze what they do and kind of go into the game with the best uh, the plan of course this way, whereas the USC was much more of a, they had some times when the linebacker beat our protection or the defense gun beat our protection. This week it was more of they got us with scheme-wise a couple times, which that's, as, as a coach it frustrates you because that's what we kind of take responsibility for and take understanding that there's going to be some physical losses on a, on a play or within a game. Uh, you don't want to get out schemed on something a couple times. So that's what we're always trying to out scheme them. And they got us a couple times. So we got to just go back and make sure we're putting our guys in the best position. There's been some questions about job security with Mark Halfridge. How have you seen him kind of react? How has he been around the, the program the past few weeks? Uh, he's, I mean, since I've been here, he's the same guy. I mean, every day it's, I mean, it's, we're trying to fix problems. There's, I mean, you always have problems. What you're trying to do is fix them. And it's part of, Trying to just find a solution to help our guys, put them in the best position and everything. But I, there's, I mean, this staff has been no different than the first day I showed up. As far as being positive, being energetic, uh, caring about the kids, caring about just what can we do today to get better to help us be successful this Saturday. As assistants, how do you kind of handle that outside noise uh, and maybe try to help them through it? Uh, I, I mean, it really, it never gets discussed inside there. We never talk about it. I mean, I, I hate to root everybody, but I don't really read anything that. Not just you guys, but anybody ever writes or anything. Like I can't, kind of live in a football bubble this time of year, other than talking to my family in the mornings. It's otherwise, I'm hanging out here with the football players and the coaches. So it's kind of just uh, we're just working on let's go get our fourth victory this week and do everything we can against Utah. Coach, uh, being the season, I think a lot of people.